Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. Well, it's official. It looks like we're going to have some new $1 coins. Yes, I've uh, been keeping up with this story, but I've been remiss to post about it because I wanted to make sure that we actually had uh, the uh, 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 something that was going to become reality rather than just legislation floating around there, even if it passes various committees and the like. Um, and this is something that only, the, really the only reason why I'm going to mention this, this uh, news story is because it has to do with collecting coins, not circulating coins, because as most of us know, the dollar coins do not circulate and will not circulate as long as there's a paper dollar. And of course, U.S. Mint realizes this, and uh, and but nonetheless, it does look like the U.S. Mint will strike American Innovation one dollar coins, according to here Mike Unser from CoinNews.net. The United States will soon produce and sell one dollar collector coins in recognition of American innovation and significant innovation and pioneering efforts of individuals or groups from each of the fifty states, the District of Columbia, and the five U.S. territories. Coins for the 14-year program will be issued at a rate of four per year beginning in 2019. So that's going to happen pretty quickly here uh, for a total of 56 unique designs. The U.S. Mint has an option to increase the series to 57 coins by introducing the program this year. Uh, the new series is authorized under the American Innovation A Dollar Coin Act. The legislation, H.R. 770, was introduced on January 31st of 2017. An updated version passed the House on January 16th, and the Senate agreed to an amended version uh, in, on June 20th. The House agreed with the final changes on June 27th, and President Trump signed the bill into law on July the 20th. So now it is now law. It's going to happen. The Secretary of the Treasury will select each innovation, innovator or pioneer or group of innovators or pioneers after consulting the governor or other chief executive of each state, the District of Columbia, or territory. The dollars will be issued by order of the states entry into the Union, uh, followed by the District of Columbia, the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, uh, United States, Virgin Islands, and the Commonwealth uh, United States Virgin Islands and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. And uh, so Delaware, I assume, will be first. All coins from the program will share a common obverse depicting the Statue of Liberty. Uh, that's interesting. So the designs are going to change. The Statue of Liberty will become the obverse with the inscriptions of $1 and In God We Trust. Now, does that mean it will be uh, the like the the same design that's on the presidential dollars, will that become the new obverse? Uh, it'll be interesting. Um, and it will have one dollar and in God we trust. So in God we trust will not be on the edge of these. It will be on the obverse. Uh, the coin edges will be incused with the year of minting or issuance, a mint mark denoting their production origin, um, and the inscription e pluribus unum. Every reverse will be unique and emblematic of a unique innovation, an innovator or pioneer, or a group of innovators or pioneers. The act prohibits the use of any portrait or bust of any person living or dead. So it's going to have to be um, no people. It's going to have to be in how it's going to portray an innovator or pioneer without showing the actual person. Um, you know, uh, I guess it would be interesting. I guess it could be a full figure as opposed to a portrait. So in other words, it won't show a full face to uh, so that you don't have the potential of having a a, um, a two-headed coin. But nonetheless, um, reverses will also include the descriptions United States of America and the location of the innovation innovator, one of the 50 states, the District of Columbia, or U.S. territory. The secretary will select the eventual designs after consulting with the heads of the, of the sites of the Commission of Fine Arts and the Citizens Coinage Advisory Committee. And this is interesting news here. Because of this, the United States, 
Mint plans on striking an initial 2018 $1 coin to introduce the series. Its reverse must bear the inscriptions of United States of America, American innovators, and a representation of the signature of President George Washington on the first U.S. patent, a number X001 pictured here. Let's take a look at that. This is the, the first U.S. patent from July 31st, 1790. Um, wow, that is fascinating. That will be interesting. Uh, so that will kick off the series. Uh, it went to Samuel Hopkins for an improvement on the making of pot ash and pearl ash. The CCAC is scheduled to review and discuss candidate designs for the $2018 on January 31st, 2018. Now, that is interesting because it's going to be a coin, just as was the case in 1999 when the Susan B. Anthony dollar was minted, but did not, was not included in any sets. So those of us who order the reverse proof sets, you know, we're not going to see this coin. It's not in existence yet and won't be in any sets. It'll have to be issued separately as a separate collectible. I'll probably pick one up. It'll probably be very pricey, obviously. But nonetheless, it will be issued alongside Native American dollars. We'll follow the program of presidential $1 coins, which ended in 2016. They will be minted alongside dollars honoring Native American tribes and individuals. Dollar coins have not been released into circulation since 2011. The United States Mint produces them in circulating proof and uncirculated finishes solely for coin collector products. And so this is why, you know, I kind of uh, have waited on... Uh, showing this because there's been cases where legislation it's not been signed so i figured i wouldn't post anything about it several of my viewers have contacted me about this and uh i basically told them yeah i know and i'm kind of waiting this to, to, to see if it can actually really does become law especially with the president we have you know i could see him saying well if they're not going to circulate why do it um uh and so you know, uh, he. If there's any chance of a president to veto with something, for reasons beyond, you know, it would be this one. But the thing is, is the United States Mint is one of the very few governmental agencies that actually, you know, earns a profit, and the profit they earn goes back in to pay the general revenues and into the general revenue fund of the U.S. Treasury, which is a, which is a, an atom of the drop of the bucket towards our national debt. But hey, at least it's something. So fascinating indeed. Uh, very cool. I mean, if you're a collector of these things, in my opinion, it's too much. We've got too many of these kind of coins anyway. And uh, they're really not going to be worth anything. I doubt I'll collect. I, I don't, we'll just see what the designs look like before I collect them. I'll probably get the 2018 one. Uh, but nonetheless, it's interesting. Post your thoughts below on this. I'd like to extend the multitude of gratitude y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.